Boom. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about uh, Cassava Sciences ticket symbol S A V A. So this is a stock that we cover here on the channel, and this stock has been going through some mood swings. So um, there's been another major move, and that's why I want us to talk about it um, in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Cassava Sciences, again, I, I covered this stock here and I told you guys, this is a pharmaceutical company. They are building uh, kind of next generation medication for Alzheimer's. So if you don't know about them already, I'd encourage you to go to their website, um, read about the company. So the company came out um, and you know put out some good um, information about their triers and their data for their uh, particular medication for Alzheimer's. And um, I mean, blew up. It was you know somehow in the Medicare uh, space. This was great information, great development, and the stock uh, just took off all the way to about a hundred and thirty dollars a share. And then they started picking on the on the stock. Some short seller firms came out and said those numbers are not really true. Uh, they probably manipulated the numbers. And then another report came out that those numbers, they did some uh, internal review and investigation. It came out that those numbers were not manipulated. So the stock went through this mood swing. It went uh, down, it went up, down, up, down. And then now uh, we get another information that the SEC, if I can bring that up here so you guys can actually see. So Cassava Sciences in hot water again as short claims extreme data manipulation. So the same claim that um, we had in that first short seller report, now the SEC is actually investigating that. So again, this is one that has push the price of the stock down, which we're going to take a look here shortly. And then one other thing that I, I wanted to uh, point out for you guys is that even um, Jim Cramer, uh, you know, on his show actually said, no, I like Eli Lilly over uh, Cassava Sciences and Biogen. So this, you mean, he's a, a public figure. So when he speaks, a lot of people listen. So that's another reason why Cassava Sciences might see uh, some struggles. But um, all is not lost there because there is still some good news with Cassava Sciences. As of uh, now, they are still like moving forward with their phase uh, three trier for their um, Alzheimer's medication. So they are moving into the, the second phase of the th uh, their three study, their phase three study. So again, if they are going through this investigation and that second phase is of their phase three is going and those numbers come out great, and without any, because right now I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people watching, a lot of eyeballs on um, Cassava Sciences now because of this news. And, and so they, I don't think that they would even attempt in any shape or form uh, to manipulate the data because somebody claims that uh, they came up with as far as manip data manipulation is that they handpicked their, uh, you know, their people that they wanted to use in the study which is, that's a no-no. You're supposed to blindly pick people, not handpick, because when you handpick, it means that you, you, you're kind of encouraging the outcome. So you pick people with specific conditions so that it can impact the outcome uh, of, your, of your test. So again, that was something that, that came out. So Cassava Science is right now, it's in this, this crazy phase where the stock is, like I said, going through mood swings one day it's up the next day is down and when i say up it's not just like a gap of like two or three dollars we're talking about a forty dollar fifty dollar swing just the blink of an eye so let's kind of take a look at the stock right here so we can actually go through it and see what has happened so again consider science you can see here from the onset when they came out this stock look at it from here all right, this is about $30. This stock just kind of flew all the way to almost 150, right? Okay, so this is where things started turning around. So they, from 150, they got some, a little bit of bad news. The thing dropped down to, um, if you can see right here, down to uh, 40, I think it was down to 40 something. And then squeeze back up to 114. And then pull back. This is from up here. This is when that first news came out that they manipulated the data. So you can see here the thing just crumbled all the way down. Um, it went to 39 and kept going down. 
And then during this period, and I did a video when I talked about this period right here, if you can see from here all the way to here, I did a video where I said, this is a one that I'm gonna take a chance on because of the way the stock has been moving. And to me, if their data, if it comes out that they didn't do anything with that data, this stock would explode. So that's what that, that's, I did that video. And then guess what? Report came out that they didn't manipulate any data. And this thing went from 45 and it skyrocketed all the way to 100, just around 100. And then now, report came out again that the SEC is investigating them. Guess what? The stock plummeted. Um, and now we're back to the levels where we started again. So we've just done like a full cycle of the stock. So again, that's why I said this is a like a stock that's going through some sort of mood swing. This is this is crazy, guys. Again, for me, I'm still gonna do the exact same thing I did last time. I, I these, these levels right here, I'm gonna buy some calls. I'm gonna buy maybe seventy or eighty dollar calls right now. Um, again, I'm going to look at cheap ones and, and, and buy those because for me, it saves me. And then I'll put stop loss in case if it starts to go down, it kicks me out. So that would be my protection. But again, it's been a, it's been a sweet cycle because if the SEC comes out and say, oh, we did our investigation and we found nothing, guess what? That news will push the price of the stock way back up. But if SEC come out and say, yes, we found that they manipulated the data, we're talking about a $20, $30 drop of that stock. So that's why I wanna do, I'm gonna, in this case, I'm gonna buy call options and I'm gonna buy naked calls, which means that whatever I put in there, let's say the one contract cost me uh, $200, that is the most I can afford to lose, but my profit is unlimited. So I can make as much as the stock continue to go up, but if it starts to go down, that's the most I can afford to lose, that $200. But guess what? I would even put a stop loss. Yeah, I wouldn't want to lose all 200. So if it starts to pull back, I'll put a stop loss and say, hey, get me out uh, so I don't lose all that money. So that is where uh, Cassava Sciences currently stand right now. And again, this is high risk, high reward. I'm just following the cycle. News impacts this stock a lot. Uh, again, like I said, the bright side here is that they are going into um, the second phase uh, uh, three study. So this is good. So if, if, if the first phase is done, they get into that second phase, then we want to hear what the test would be. So if that the study comes out and say, this is good, and what we have is good, and the data was clean, there was no manipulation, I think uh, Cassava Sciences is, again, poised to go back all the way to $100 uh, per share. So that's what I wanted to cover here in this video. Again, guys, um, this is one that I, I, I keep saying, this is a high-risk, high-reward stock. Um, I'm not buying the individual stock here. I'm just going to buy naked calls. In this case, I only put what I can afford to lose. So again, if I buy a call, this is hypothetical. I didn't, I didn't specify which calls I'm going to buy, but I'm looking at somewhere between 80 and a hundred dollar calls. That's what I'm going to do. So again, with those, I put a stop loss so that if anything were to go wrong, if they came out and gave and gave some news that they actually did manipulate the data and then it'll kick me out. And let's say if I buy one contract, if it's $200, that's the most I can uh, uh, afford to lose. But if you go out and buy a hundred shares outright, I'd say $40. See where that puts you. I put you somewhere about four grand, which is not cheap. So, and again, if the stock pulls back, let's say pulls to 20 bucks, then you're out two grand just like that. And that's why I'm, I'm going the option route uh, for this particular one. And I'm specifically doing naked calls because that, that only gives me a little amount of money and I can protect myself in case it goes south. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? This stock has much swings. Do you agree or you think, Mr. V, uh, this one is kind of a fiery stock. I don't want to touch it. I'm going to stay away from this, which I don't blame you. Uh, but again, in the market, if you don't take risk, you can't make any money. That's my take. I want to hear from you guys. Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Guys, right now is time where you can get free stocks. Um, Moo Moo right now has the best promotion out there where if you sign up and deposit any amount, $1, whatever it is, you get five free stocks somewhere between $9 and $3,500, somewhere within that range. 
Again, take advantage of all these collect those free stocks. If you want to move them to another platform, collect them. It's it's free. So I don't pass out on free stocks. So check out the links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated. Uh -huh.